think. Act and prosper. You are now tuned in to the Money Level Show. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm into a few altcoins. Like um, I, I did a couple videos on, on Web3. I had Mark Yusko on last year. Nice. Uh, he kind of educated educated us on, on some of the Web3 things. And um, yeah, right now I'm like, I sold my altcoins. I was like, I just don't know what's going to happen. If I can get in at a better price at some point. Uh, because of just like what's happening with the Fed, the liquidity drying up, the tightening, you know, the economy just does not look healthy right now. And um, and so I'm just like, you know, what's this going to look like in, a, in, in the near term? Um, you know, and so uh, what, what's your take on on all coins you know? are super risky. Altcoins are very, very risky. Most altcoins are going to go to zero. They're going to jump 80, 90%. Some of them are going to go away. And the reason why is because we still don't have clear regulation ideas um, for crypto because of the SEC and uh, IRS is part of it too. All of these gov- public servants, they can't really, they're, they're not really able to tell us what we can and can't do. They want us to pay taxes on it, but then they can't decide what is a security and what is not a security. So when you're investing in altcoins, when you're investing in coins beside Ethereum, Bitcoin, and stable coins, USDC, I'm going to throw that in there. It's important to to note. But when you're investing in these projects, you're investing in small startups. You're giving strangers your money. I don't know about you, but if a stranger walks up to me on the street, I'm not giving them my money. If I sit and I, let's, and for example, I'm not giving them my money, but let, or actually let's say, let's say a homeless person walks up to you. And I'm going to use this example because when I worked in healthcare, I dealt with a big homeless population. The first time I would meet somebody that, you know, I can tell had some, you know, was out on the streets or whatever. And they asked me for money or they asked me to do a special thing for them at my job when I was in healthcare. You know, I would do my basic job, but a lot of times I went above and beyond for them. But the first time they came in, if they started demanding all these things and wanted from me, I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to give you the basic respect and that's that. But then as I would get to know them and get to know them, they would come in over and over again. Sometimes I would bring them food or do other things. So when you're thinking about putting money into altcoins, you're giving strangers your money on a promise that they're going to do something with it. You're not going to let anybody come up to you off of the street and take your money. So why would you give your money to somebody that you don't know? So when you want to invest in altcoins, you have to do a lot of research and you also have to take on the risk. There's a 50% chance this thing is going to do well and there's a 50% chance it's not going to do well. And that's just the first initial risk. Then you have to look at, okay, is this project going to hold up in the bear market? Probably not. If you look at Bitcoin's historic price action, we've dropped 80% every single cycle. So when you're putting money into this stuff, you have to have a trading or investing plan. You can't put money in and hold on to this stuff for five years, it generally doesn't work out unless it's Bitcoin or Ethereum.